I've not seen such bravery. You play as the subconsciousness of Julian Luxembourg waiting for his date to arrive. You listen in on his thoughts while tapping the table, looking at the clock, and eventually reluctantly starting to eat. That is the first sentence on the website for Dinner Date, a game that has just recently knocked bad rats off the top of my Why, dear God, why? list. This game is exactly what it claims to be. You play as the subconsciousness of a man who is getting stood up. As his subconsciousness, you don't really get to make decisions for him or walk around or anything like that. What do you get to do? Well, the first thing you get to do is listen to Julian's thoughts, which are boring at best. It starts off with him wondering where his date is, and the more apparent it becomes that she isn't showing up, the more he talks about how he wants to get laid. But at least he's getting laid. Basically, if you've ever consoled a friend that's recently been stood up or dumped, you've heard it all before. The second thing you get to do with Julian's subconsciousness is move him around a little bit. But only a little bit. Like the description said, you can look at the clock. You can tap the table. You can look at the door. You can eat some bread. Are you bored yet? No? Okay, I'll keep going. You can stretch your arms. You can pick up your spoon. You can put down your spoon. Stirring your soup clockwise not exciting enough for you? Well, lucky for you, you can stir soup in both directions. I feel like I've accurately described the entirety of this game. These little floating bubbles here are all things that you, as Julian's subconsciousness, can do, and once you've done all of them, all you really get to do is sit and listen to his thoughts. And, you know, stir some soup. It took me about 20 minutes to beat, or, I guess, play through, since you don't really beat anything. Dinner date, while attempting to come across as some type of art project, only seems to succeed at achieving gag gift status. Unless, that is, you have a passion for sitting around and listening to some guy bitch about being alone. In which case, you better pick it up right now. Although I did notice that the developers do recommend drinking wine while playing the game, so maybe it's a better experience if you're totally wasted. But... Probably not. It's not really a game worth owning, or playing, or thinking about, or talking about, or making a video about. Huh. Not much time left if I want to shag her. Is that all it is now? Shagging.